Hey everyone, in this video I will teach you how to set up volumetric lighting in Eevee and how you can render it. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by pressing Shift A and add a cube, and then scale it around whatever object you have in your scene. So press S to scale, and then press S then set to scale it on the z-axis, and then press G then set to grab it on the z-axis. And then we can press S, then Shift Set to scale it only on the X and Y axis. And this is going to be the domain for the volumetric lighting. Okay. And then next, we can open a new window. Then go into the shader editor. And then we can add a new material to the object that we just added and then delete the uh, principal shader and then uh, press shift a and search for principal volume instead and then connect volume to volume and as you can see we now have the foggy look that we can use for the volumetric lighting and you can change the density by changing the density value and you can also change the color of the uh, fog. Okay, so next we're going to add some lighting. So press Shift A. And then let's add a spotlight. So go to light and then spot. And then press G, then set to grab it on the Z axis. And then press R twice to rotate the spotlight freely. And right now the spotlight is quite weak, so let's set the power value to 10k. And then press G to grab the spotlight. And then next we can add another spotlight, so press numpad 7 for top view. And then press Shift D to duplicate and then press R to rotate the spotlight. And if you want to change the way the spot shape looks, you can change the uh, size value to increase or decrease the size, or change the value of how the light blends. And a higher blend value will mean that the edges of the spotlight will become softer. So, uh, just play around with the different values and see what you like. And then next, we're going to add some point lights to uh, add the lights to the floor. So press Shift A and add a point light. And we're going to set the power to 100. And then press G to uh, grab. And then you can change the color of the uh, light. So uh, something like this looks fine. Then I'm going to save before I continue. So give the file a name and then press enter to save. And then next we can uh, go to the uh, top view and duplicate the light. So press numpad 7 for uh, top view. And then press shift D, then Y to uh, duplicate on the Y axis and then press shift R to repeat the previous actions. Okay, and then next we can select all of the point lights and then press shift D, then X to move the duplication on the X axis. And if you want to edit the way that the fog looks, you can just uh, select the cube and change either the density value or the color of the uh, principal volume. And then you can press F12 to render. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe.